this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now what I'd like to do uh, in this video is give you um, sort of an intro to the next set of videos that are going to be coming up. And they're related to economics, uh, personal finance, investing, our current economic system. Okay. Um, and uh, I, sort of, <laughs> I sort of have a handful of stuff that I want to talk to you guys about. And I have a uh, pen and paper here that we're going to try to you know, create some visuals uh, so that we can appreciate what's happening, okay? And uh, you can think about this as sort of a follow-up to um, what we've already talked about in uh, for mathematics, for the mathematics of economics, where we put our intro video mentioning that economics and politics are sort of the same beast, right? You can't talk about one without the other and vice versa, right? And um, we, we did three... Uh, three follow-up videos to that where we talked about uh, maximizing revenue problem I guess we took a problem from my childhood days and uh, we did a maximizing um, revenue problem uh, we talked about disruptive innovation where basically new technologies new way of doing things uh, new innovation sort of starts challenging established industries and how how we could get a visual for that and how that plays out in our current economic system and, um, in the third video we talked about differential accumulation capital is power rate of return rate of interest rate of growth and uh, how interest rates uh, uh, play in our system right and we had a follow-up video on that so where um, Jonathan Nitsan uh, sort of fine-tuned some of the ideas uh, Send us, uh, send us, send me a little reply, and sort of fine tune some of the ideas that we talked about in uh, the differential accumulation video that we did, right? Uh, where we start talking about specifically capital as power, right? Uh, for our current economic system, okay? So, what I want to do in this video is just follow up on that, but sort of paint a larger picture right we're not going to go micro we're going to go macro sort of get a broad overview of what's going on in our current economic system um, because it's pretty important uh, right now we're sort of at a crossroads where there's a few different um, factors in play right there's a lot of different things competing and disrupting system that has that have been established and there's new technology coming on coming to play that's really going to change things okay so two things you need to keep in mind when it comes to talking about economics and the next set of videos coming up and to anyone that you talk about with regarding economics and personal finance and possible possibly being financial advice and stuff like this the first thing you have to appreciate is that economics is not a hard science right economics is not physics economics is not chemistry is not biology economics is not mathematics and mathematics is not economics economics is just a system that we've come up with there's systems that we can come up with and have come up with in the past right that allow us uh, to create certain rules where we can do trade okay that's basically the core essence of what economics is right people getting together creating systems where you can do trade within those systems based on the rules created for that system right so one thing you have to appreciate regarding economics is there's a lot of assumptions for every economic model every economic system there are a lot of variables in play in every economic system and there are a lot of variables that haven't been accounted for in every economic system sometimes certain variables come into play that didn't exist previously in certain systems and they completely change those systems right or collapse those systems okay so the first thing you have to appreciate is that it is up to you, really, if you have faith in a certain economic system, if you 
want to invest your time, your money, your energy in that economic system, okay? Or if you want to look for alternate economic systems, and there are multiple systems at play right now, okay? So first thing you have to keep in mind is that economics is not a hard science. It is prone to changes, sometimes dramatic changes, as we learn new things or as different variables come into play. The second thing I really want you to keep in mind regarding what we're going to talk about is it's not financial advice, okay? What we're going to talk about is not me giving you guys financial advice. Please really appreciate that, okay? Because economics, personal finance, as the first word implies, personal, is very personal. What my economic needs are may be completely different than what your economic needs may be, right? My economic needs that may come up in the future may be different than my economic needs now, so I have to plan for that as well, right? So economics is very personal. Investing is very personal, right? It's dependent on the system. It's dependent on your lifestyle, your liquidity, right? Uh, your burden, your debt burden, okay? And we'll talk about this uh, a lot more in the coming videos. Um, but please keep this in mind. What we're going to talk about is not financial advice. It's not me giving you financial advice. It's just me sharing my perspective of our current economic system and how I have decided to function to a certain degree. I'm, we're not going to go too in-depth into it, but in a broad sense, how I've decided to function within the system and where I think things may be going, okay? So please keep that in mind because there is, uh, there is a few different things that we're going to talk about. I don't know if we're going to talk about everything that is sort of, you know, laid out to talk about. There is some that I've laid out for sure we're going to talk about, but I don't know if, how deep we're going to go into this. Uh, but there are certain things that we're going to talk about that are quite important and may come into play, okay, uh, for you, and they have come into play for me. Um, so this is some of the stuff that we're going to talk about or some hard-learned lessons, okay. Um, that said, uh, being sort of my long-winded intro uh, to these set of videos uh, coming up, and this is going to be open-ended, we'll revisit this topic a lot more and we'll add to this uh, to this discussion a lot more okay as for what we're going to start off with now I've uh, you know I got my color pens and stuff here and markers and stuff and I have some paper here and stuff so we're gonna lay out some visuals um, when we talk about some of these concepts but um, one thing I want to start off with is Basically, sort of in a broad sense, five things to keep in mind um, for your personal finance, right? For your, uh, for your financial independence, 